are listening to the most original talk radio station anywhere. We are LA Talk Radio at latalkradio.com. You're listening to Streaming Goat Radio with Kevin and Chris, right here on LA Talk Radio. We've got a very special guest in studio, Mr. Mike Irwin. Why is he staring at you and not me? And, and he, was, he was staring at me with very dreamy eyes right there, very dreamy bedroom eyes. I think he heard our conversation about the, <laughs> the coma. Yeah. You were in a coma for how long on that show, Mike? Oh, gosh. You know, in, uh, in like the world of, of that TV show, I think it was you know a few months, but I believe it was only like a couple of episodes. Oh, yeah? Okay. Yeah. But the, you know, the, uh, the impact of it. <laughs> stretched <laughs> lasted a lifetime lasted, lifetime i'm yes, sure i think yes i i got so into it i still have some of the brain damage from, <laughs> wow from that he's a very over. impressive actor yeah, a very uh-huh. impressive method actor we, we won't ask very hard questions yeah. today. don't worry about it Good. yeah nice. we yeah i mean you know chris and i have brain damage but it's not from being on an incredible <laughs> tv show where we were we were starring as one of the hunks there is how did that uh how did that come about was that was that really your first big break in the industry was that what kind of launched your career yeah, that was one of those things where um, I hadn't been out in in California for very long. It was um, I had maybe been out here for a year, and you know I came out and right at the beginning, like the first month, I booked my first pilot. I was like, "Oh, this is amazing!" And then it didn't go, and I was like, "Oh, this is horrible!" And then like seven months went by. And nothing happened. I went to my manager. And I I'm happy to hear that, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I thought he was going to be one of those guys that's like, I, I came here like two days later. I was yeah. on a show. Yeah, I was going to send him out of the, <laughs> out of the studio <laughs> if he didn't struggle at least a little bit. A little bit. A little Just bit. struggle a little bit. At yeah. least lie to us and say and you I, struggled a little bit when you're I out did, here. I remember having that moment where I was like, if this is going to be my life, I'm going back home and forget it. And then <laughs> I, if this three weeks, if this depressing three weeks is yeah. going to be my life. I was like, you know. Uh, so anyways, and then I ended up booking a few jobs through Warner Brothers. And then Warner Brothers was like, hey. We had this audition, and I got that, and was like, okay. How long were you out here before you got Everwood? Um, a little over a year. Does that piss you off, Chris? Are you are you a little fired up? Does this should I should I, I play should I play a Christmas song again? Just I don't to, know what you're talking about. Just to, just to build you. Come I just on. got here. I'm losing LA. you. I'm newbie. I'm, I'm losing newbie. you. I'm losing you. <laughs> I'm losing you. Eight years. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> And your run on that show was what? You were on that for a couple seasons, right? Yeah, well, I was I was there primarily for like the f- the the first season and then I, you know, they killed me and I I was there for like <laughs> A couple, two, you didn't three make it. No, I didn't. I didn't you, make it. We're Spoiler not on the show alert. right now. Yeah. The show's not happening right now, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> the show's not still happening. Yeah, that was a while ago. So oh, sorry, I apologize. To... Sorry. How yeah. bitter were you when you got the script and you said, "Oh, let me just read my." Wait a second. I'm dead today. Oh, I mean, I tore that office up. I was like, "Are you kidding me?" No. <laughs> Did you try to fight a little bit and be like, um, "I mean, because it's in soap operas, people come back to life all the time. They die all the time. Listen they come back this. and the life yes, all the time." I got it. Yeah, I mean, like, did you run into the writer's room and pitch this? We're like, all right, he's in a coma, he dies, but then a, he's reincarnated into a bird, and, I mean, hopefully the pitch was better than that, but, no, you know, I, I, I mean, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, I, I wish it was something like that. That would have been great. No, you know, it's one of those things, you just take it all in stride, and you go, hey, that was a great run, and I, I'm glad for the time that I had there, and then you just kind of turn your head and go, well, where am I going now? Yeah. And just follow that, I guess, so. Well, I gotta say, I, 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 I was talking to a bunch of people about having you on, and every single one of them was like, oh, my God, he was my favorite. Oh, my God, he was my favorite. So even though you did die off the show, you made quite an impression well, on, on the audience. Well, tell them all thank you, and I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. I hear people that are in comas, they're, they, while they're in the coma, they look up to him, and they watch, <laughs> and, they, and they play Everwood episodes. And they hope to be. And they hope to be as dreamy as he was in that coma. Yeah, I'm, actually, I'm actually now teaching coma classes. <laughs> uh, so if anybody wants to sign I'm up. How did you give him back? <laughs> wow. Okay, I just want you to lay lay back. There you go. That yeah. makes him even more dreamy. Yeah, yeah. these tubes in your nose. <laughs> wow. Okay. Do you use that voice yeah. the whole time too? All Is the that time, the voice? All the time. It's just wow. I feel like it's more relaxing for these. People, I like it. Yeah. Know, because I've already got them naked. Uh, I mean, yeah. lying down. Oh. oh. Well, and, here we go. Uh, yeah. And with tubes in their nose. I don't know why my shirt's off right now. Yeah. Chris, 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 put your shirt back on and, okay. and open your eyes, for God's sake. This is not think of this, is, this is not a free class right here. <laughs> why not? Yeah. Um, 
and then so so now I guess to kind of jump forward to right now, I mean you got I got a lot of stuff going on right now. You're currently in development for stuff on Russell Simmons' YouTube channel, right? Talk a little bit about that. What do you got going on there? Well, yeah, we um, you know when I came up with this really funny little song, this ditty called uh, uh, "Balls in Your Cup" for all you beer pong lovers out there. Balls mm-hmm. in your cup. Balls in your cup. Uh, you know what? Yeah. I'm going to stop you right there because oh, okay. we have another holiday classic that we're going to play here for our listeners. Oh, nice. It better be um, R. Kelly. Uh-oh. Another holiday classic here. I'm sure everyone knows this. Oh, this I didn't realize it was a little... I have a feeling this is, I have a feeling this is going to jam. It's quite a build here. I like it. Yo, what's up? Oh. Yo, you remember that party last night, man? Yeah. That Christmas party? That holiday party, yeah. exactly. <laughs> That's how we make it. Yeah. Whoa. Well, everybody's head is bobbing in the studio right now. It's impossible to listen to this and not feel Christmas cheer. I have a feeling this also, is balls in your cup. I'm, I'm, sa- I'm calling it right now. Yeah? With a little bit of attitude. I, I think Frank Sinatra's in this somewhere. I thought... <laughs> I, I'm sure there's some jingle bells in here. So anyway, this is... This is it. This, this is, is you. This is you right here. This is yeah. you right here. Yes, I you, you dropped this here recently. Is that the? Is that the correct? Chris, is that he, this was dropped recently? Is that the that's correct terminology? Yes, okay. That's a Lego. And how recently did you? Studying. Yeah. And how recently did you drop this? Was this dropped for the holiday season? Do you have your holiday album coming out here very soon that we can direct people to on iTunes? We definitely were, were thinking about <laughs> doing an album. Um, Christmas, though, I never thought about that. That would be pretty good. Uh, no, we 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 launched it probably a couple of months ago. Um, that was a beer. Ooh, that was nice. Yeah. Merry Christmas. <laughs> to me. To beer. Uh, no, so we did the song, and, uh, you know, we got a little bit of traffic, which has been nice, and uh, a pretty decent response. And then we got a phone call from uh, Russell Simmons' company, ADD, and they were like, hey, we want to do something with you guys. So we nice. sat down with them and wrote out a little treatment, and um, uh, hopefully we'll be... Launching that one soon. Russell Simmons Company, ADD? All Deaf Digital, yeah. All Deaf Digital. I was going to say, it's got to be Deaf something. But that guy has so <laughs> yeah. many companies, I can't keep track of I know. the company yeah, that know. he's doing it with. It's like having There'll be a D in there somewhere. the same for everything. Right? <laughs> so you can remember what, what it is. But that's awesome, though. I mean, that's big. Can you talk about the project at all? Can you no, talk about what I, it is? I'm not or? sure. I, I'm actually, I don't know what my legal rights are with that. I didn't read the paperwork. <laughs> well, we, we can get our lawyers on it. <laughs> yeah. Actually, he just told me it's fine. Our lawyer just said it's fine. Oh, you can say yeah. whatever you want. Yeah, it's the plant right here. <laughs> you want to you yeah. just yeah. say hello to our lawyer right there. It's our lawyer plant. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Just, just lay down and let me get yeah. these tubes in your nose. Damn it. It even works with plants. <laughs> God. Yeah, I mean, the plant's leaning into them a little bit. It's crazy. It's, it's unbelievable. But uh, so that, and then so so really cool. Now, now was that your idea? Was was the balls in your cup? Was that your idea? Obviously not. But balls in your cup. I think that's uh, we've all had that idea yeah. <laughs> for the song. Look at you. Yeah, yeah. yeah he beat me to it. That boy, Gerwin. Oh, he's dreamy and he's it, smart. It, it's it, so yeah. annoying. No, actually, it was funny. It was a uh, it was a Fourth of July party at my neighbor's house, and uh, I can't really say that like you know it was just it was one of those moments where we're all playing beer pong. We had too much beer too many games which was great having a lot of fun and it just you know a bunch of white people and we just got gangster you know once you made it in the cup we were like <laughs> yeah we've all been there yeah, yeah. Ball, yeah. well not me yeah. and it just sort of by the end of the night we were singing i put my balls in your cup now drink it up now drink it up <laughs> so it kind of wrote itself it kind of wrote yeah. itself and, i've heard and, about that you know yeah. people say that sometimes they're inspired and it's just people write out uh, novels or songs and it's just yeah, and it, it, the, the idea just sort of simmered, and I went back to my friends, and I was like, "Do you mind if I write a song about like with this?" And yeah. they were all like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, sure, go ahead." And I was like, "Okay." So um, yeah, I met with a was it one really of those talented producer Mike Iyer, and there it is. Now, was it one of those things where you had your sheet of paper and you were just you had your pen and you had your your waste basket with just crumpled up sheets of paper, and you were like. Put my balls in their cup. No, no, that doesn't or, work. Or, Put or his balls in their cup. Were you on the subway in a hoodie with your Beats by Dre on? <laughs> right. He had one you know, chance, M&M one style, opportunity. One Chris. chance, one opportunity. Right. Yeah. In in like on Yo. your on your BlackBerry. Yo, no, you I, got one I, chance I, to put your balls in my cup. Think, one chance. It was more like I, I went to Silver Lake and went to the to the Starbucks with my computer open, except I had the screensaver flashing while I pretended to type <laughs> and drink a latte and be like, yeah, I don't of know, course, I of course, put my balls in your. Up. Yeah. Like, oh, I haven't written it. <laughs> Another Wi-Fi stealer, Chris. Another Wi-Fi yeah. stealer. <laughs> These bastards are everywhere. 
Yeah. We'll talk a little bit about a hipster your... wi- Wi-Fi stealer with the Silver Lake. <laughs> uh, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> he was probably hacky sacking outside before he went in to steal some Wi-Fi. Just because there was free parking. That was it. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about your career a little bit too. You've you've done some stuff. You've been in some stuff. You've been in, as we mentioned, the show Hulk, Dexter, Vampire Diaries. Any any favorite shows? Favorite characters? Yeah, I want to know like who you know who your favorite you to work with. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Wise. You know yeah. I, t- I tell you what, Dexter was probably one of the, one of my favorite shows to work I on. I love Dexter. Um, my Michael C. Hall was just amazing, and that was one of those sets that you you want to be on as an actor, and almost you're you're excited to get the job as a, like you know I only did a couple episodes, and then you're like a little depressed because you're like wow I wish I could stay on and mm-hmm. and do more with these people because they're just on point they were on time he was amazing uh, it was just professional and and sometimes I'm you know sadly enough that you don't always get that sure uh, yeah so whoa oh, hit the mic. Rook in the scale. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that was probably one of my favorite. Can you give us any gossip about Michael C. Hall and how he married his co-star? Yeah. We've worked with Michael it, actually before. You know. Oh, did you guys say Michael C. Hall? Yeah, Michael C. Hall. Yeah, Michael. Oh, Michael B. Hall is who we work with. He's actually the janitor. <laughs> oh, I yes. thought that's who. Michael B. Hall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Dexter is that? One? Okay, I, 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 I tuned out for a second. No, we haven't. Uh, he won't return our calls. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, he's like, please. Yeah. Uh, no, I mean, th- that was probably one of those those moments where it's like it's it. No, I have nothing bad to say. It was. It was no, it yeah, was. Yeah. It, there was a moment. I will say this now that it's out and everything. There was a moment because I watched the. I was in the third season, I believe. I watched the first two seasons and and started to get into it and you know and become a fan of the show before you did before your episode. Before I even did it, which it, which is rare for me as well. Um, and 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 so there's you know he his classic move is to like cut your cheek and take your blood sample and keep it in a on closet, the slide on the slide. Yep. And it was that moment we were shooting it, and I know there was a take, and he's and he like started with the knife, and he's he's just in my face, and he's like cutting my cheek with this knife, and you can feel like you know the fake blood dripping down, and there was one moment where I was like, oh my god, it's Dexter, <laughs> like I totally just turned into like super geek fan, you know, fantasy, and was like, you Man. wanted to just like kiss him, yeah, yeah you, I was just like, this is amazing, and then realized like, oh my gosh, we're still we're still shooting, and hopefully that's not my take because there's got to <laughs> be a moment, there has to be, if it, if it was my close up, your close up, there's probably a moment where it was like, is this guy enjoying this? <laughs> like I think. He wants to die. Right? I would have loved if you just <laughs> stared right at the camera and you're like mouth like, oh my god, it's Dex. And, and if they use that in the episode yeah, somehow, for some reason, like, yeah, oh, oh, <laughs> yeah, <I'm> plastic. <laughs> Look at Adam, yeah, it's Michael C. Hall. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Yeah. Well, did you die right there on the spot, or did you go into a coma on that show as well? And, and <laughs> last that's a for thing, a while, Chris. We talked yeah. about that. That's yeah. what I'm saying. I know. I know. Maybe that's why he had that that look of enjoyment. You know? In ecstasy of here we go. I'm gonna settle into a sweet, sweet coma. Yeah, I'm gonna awesome. milk this for a couple yeah. seasons. I tell you what, I'm jealous. Nothing, that's n- awesome. Nothing better than they're like, here's your costume. You're like, these are pajamas. And you're like, hey, yeah, good night. Hair, yeah. hair and makeup? Nah, you're you're in a coma. Not you're many fine. of us could say that Dexter killed us. That is a good point. Yeah, Not I mean, you could say it, but it well, wouldn't be true. That wouldn't be true. Right. It wouldn't be unless, true. Unless, well, yeah, unless it was just a real guy named Dexter. Well, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah or Michael B. Hall, the, yeah, Michael yeah, the janitor <laughs> killed us. Then, then we could maybe we could get away with it. Yeah, yeah. So for you, that was obviously a great experience, and you mentioned how professional that was. Do you have a story about the flip side of? Have you done a project? I mean, I'm sure you've done projects. Oh, maybe when you first started, does anything stand out in terms of like that stereotypical like? On a set where nobody knows what they're doing, I, and maybe even one that looked like it was going to be very, very professional. You have a story about that? Mm, you know, let's see if I can. I, I know there, there's definitely some stories where I was like, "Oh my gosh!" Like this is this is not going the way I pictured it in my head. You know, as you walk, you know, you come to LA as an actor, and you're like, "This is the professional world. I'm going to be working." And it's like, "Wow, yeah, uh, this is n- not it at all." Um, but. It, it, there, there is one show I was doing in particular. I won't name names or anything like that, just because who knows who's listening. And uh, and it, it, the 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 actor. So there you go. There's there's fifty. <laughs> That's a hint out there. There was an actor in this, just, but this person calls himself an actor, not actor. an actor. So that was, gives you a hint. Yeah, okay. just on his soap. He's British. Box the whole time, and you'd be amazed at like you know the tem- temper tantrums that this person would have. Literally at one point was like grabbed his bottle of water and like threw it across the set and 
was just like almost hit the prop guy. Sounds you know? like you, Kevin. And it was just like it, <laughs> I'm a little bit of a diva. You know, it was like, hey, are we ready to shoot the scene? No, give us three minutes. No, I'm ready now. <laughs> you know, and it's like it's like, oh, I guess he wasn't prepared yet. And it's like, oh, this is his makeout scene. You know, so what do you what you know really you with know? you? No, no, no. no. <laughs> I was gonna. Yeah, you're yeah. like I'm ready. Let's well, do. Well, you know, maybe I don't. Really. <laughs> I've done those too. That's a little. That's a little weird. We want to hear about those. Those are probably the toughest ones. Yeah, um, I will talk about that. Cause it, yeah, it love is, scenes. Tell, you know, me, tell us about love, some love scenes. I love about you know. Well, yeah, here's a love scene for you. But, <laughs> yeah, I, I love that people are always like, "Oh, actors, it's so amazing," and it is. It's an amazing career. But there's moments you know that you have in your career that you're just like, "Hmm, was not expecting this." <laughs> um, and I, I remember the first time I like actually had to kiss a guy, and I was like, "Okay, you know what? I'm I'm comfortable in my sexuality. I can do this. I'm a professional. Yeah. It's no problem." And they're like, "Okay, you're gonna actually have to French kiss this guy." I was like, "Oh, good lord. Okay. Well, here we go. Let's do it." You yeah, Chris what? and I finished the show like that every single yeah, show. Exactly. So. I think that's why you guys had me on, right? Yeah, like, exactly. I, that was in the that if was things the go well, freeway kiss, go, uh, free beer, and making out. And I was yeah. like, mm, "I'm in." <laughs> it's one of those bizarre Christmas traditions. Merry yeah. Christmas, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I remember. It was probably one of the first times being in a scene and and making out with this person. Because usually you close your eyes, you know, it's like, okay, you can feel like it's a woman. But the guy had scruff. Scruff. So, oh, yes. oh, man. And my mind just instantly went black. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was just like, oh, my God, what's happening? Like, my whole system was fighting itself, you know, of like, this is wrong. You're not supposed to be doing this. Do you like this? I don't know. Do you like, you know, it was like. Were you just, supposed to be passionate? I mean, was this yeah, your like, close oh, up? And then they. Passionate, just like. Exposed you know, again. Yeah. And it was like, oh, man. Like, I was <laughs> not prepared. That's definitely one of those things I don't think you can really ever be prepared for. You just had. Yeah. You don't want to do a lot of research for that, I yeah, think. Yeah. I think people. People are going to start well, to, you know, I'm doing research for a project. Uh, take your pants off. <laughs> <laughs> Have you done any uh, full nude, like, love scenes, like, with no, with a woman? I've not done it where, like, I'm completely nude and they're completely no- nude. No. But okay. I, I, I have done my fair share of rolling around, yeah. you know, with actresses <laughs> in a scene where, uh, you know. Do you ever get excited? You know, th- that's that's funny. Because I feel like that's a question a lot of people always want to know about. And I, there was some Morgan Freeman, not Morgan Freeman. Somebody was like, I forget the actor who was just like, every time I go into the scene, something like that, I'm like, I apologize if I do, I apologize yes. if I don't. Yeah, I think actually, I forget what actor that it was. It was William H Macy talked about it when uh, the Cooler. He was playing in the Cooler. Yeah, and it was one of, like I I don't remember the actress, but she like cups his stuff. Like, <laughs> that's the shot. They're in bed and she is cupping his oh. junk. You know, and it's like, how do you fake that? You don't, you know? Yeah. Are you going to wear a sock? No, because your hand is my sock. And, and then I think it was that where it's like, and it is. It's one of those things where you just go, listen, um, want to make it as real as possible. So if I get into this, sorry if I do. And if I don't, well, it's nothing against you either. It's not like I'm like, oh, my gosh. I think you might have inspired idiot. your next yeah. single, My Hand is Your Sock. Did that did that stand out to you too, Chris, of maybe being his next viral hit for Russell Simmons? That should be, yeah. That's going to beat Bieber out, I'll tell you that right That's now. That's going to be it yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah, Number one. Be, here in the club. Instead of like the Janet Jackson with the hands over, like, yeah. that'll be, that'll be, yes. it'll be me, like, on a, like, <laughs> a lazy boy with my leg up, you know, and Santa's. Yeah. However, if you do pitch that to Russell Simmons, Kevin and I might... A little taste is what you're going for, right? We'll, 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 come a-knocking. We'll, we'll want our taste. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can come for the photo shoot. <laughs> yeah, our okay. taste of lights or whatever it is. Yeah. And I was going to ask you about this, because you were also, and you'll have to settle this for, for Chris and I, is it Jack or Jax? Because you, you were the voice of that character, which actually, there were a number of video games. I love winning. Yeah, <laughs> I love yeah, winning. Yeah. Uh, love winning. We did. We did. I did. Uh, well, it was funny. The first is it one, Jack or Jax? It's Jack. Jack I'm going to cut his Jack. mic off. <laughs> I'm going to cut Chris's mic yeah, off right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, it was with the X, but... Uh, always come out on top. I always called it Jack and Daxter. <laughs> yeah, you would know, I so... I would know. I think I would yeah. know. yeah. yeah. So, all of you at Naughty Dog, if that's wrong, I apologize. <laughs> you can send them a free copy of yeah. My Hand is Your Sock, and I think they'll be okay. The new holiday classic. Yeah, I'm going to write that out after all of this. How did you get that? Naughty did they, Dog. Did they, did they come at you, and they wanted you, or did you audition for this? And- uh, actually, it was, it was pretty cool. Um, I remember being at a point where, uh, you know, out here, you know, it's best to do everything and anything you can. So, we were, you know, as I sat down with my manager, and we were talking about TV shows. What do you want to do? I want to do TV. I want to do movies. You know, have you ever thought about doing commercials? I was like, I'm. I, at that at that time, I, I was not in the mindset to be like, I want to do commercials. But I was like, I don't really want to do commercials, but I would do the voice of the commercials. 
Mm-hmm. And they were like, well, let's get you a voiceover agent. I was like, that's great. And then um, this breakdown came out literally a week after I had just finished The Hulk. And the breakdown was we need an actor who sounds like kind of like the Incredible Hulk because, you know, Jack's got two different sides to him, like the normal and then like the raging side. Mm. And my voice over um, agent just was like, hey, I've got the real Hulk. Do you are the young Hulk? <laughs> you can't beat that. Do you do you want to have him come in for you? And they were like, "Yeah, let's do it." So I just laid down a track. Of Did you come like, in in full Hulk makeup too, just I was to like, let him like green and just like yeah? <laughs> this I guy's just, a pro, Chris. He's I a pro. Was doing push-ups in the he's a pro. Like, the purple shorts. You don't need yeah. to do that push-ups. <laughs> Put your shirt back on, Chris. I don't know. How, every time I look I over, your shirt's off. I don't know. And put this is happening. Okay, let's just think about holiday cheer. Okay. I have to admit, being here with all this, I do. It, it makes you just. It makes me want to be like you. Are now there you go. I'm going to give you a little. The sounds of the screaming goat. Of the screaming goat. <laughs> and Chris, yeah. He's special. he's good. The guy's he's a pro, Chris. He's a pro. All right. <laughs> We really shouldn't have I him on anymore. To our show now. We shouldn't have him on anymore because because he's making us look bad with his voiceover stuff. Really, he, no. I'm, I'm going to get fired. I already know. Yes, oh, I'm going to get no, fired. No, 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 maybe, maybe, <sighs> maybe, 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 probably, <laughs> probably so. And so, how many of those did you do with with the Jack thing? And then I was going to ask just what that's like. Are they giving you storyboards and then they got your lines? Yeah, and you know was that harder than than your on screen acting easier? What? Sometimes it is because you can't. You are basically making up the conversation in your head you have your lines but you don't have theirs so you're trying to figure out their reactions and maybe how they would say their lines so that you can do yours so sometimes I'd have a reader like say my line or say the next line so we could have the conversation and make it sound natural Uh, but the coolest thing about that is I got to go through the studio and like see all the like the artist and all his designs and walk through through like the floor of animators and like there's one guy working on one scene like for a week um and it's amazing because they're so good at the game because they're programming it though they all have like computers with controllers and they program it and then they have to test the level so if you ever know someone who designed a video game don't play them against them because they will murder you because uh, they'll just be like they can do it with their eyes closed. So how cool was it for you then to get? Because I'm sure they send you a copy of the mm-hmm. game and console. How cool was that to get it and play your game? It was pretty cool. I, I have to admit that was a fun thing. I, you know, I was in my early 20s when I did that, and um, so and I was huge. I'm huge into video games, so it was very cool when uh, I did actually get the job and I got a box full of like the first video game because he didn't talk in the first one, but they gave me, you know, like some posters in the video game and we're like you need to play this before you came you, before you come in so I literally ah, called okay. up a buddy of mine who's a gamer I was like I got some homework for us <laughs> and that's kind of homework sat there down for the weekend and played the whole game like literally just ordered pizza and like didn't leave this one room and played the video game the whole time so it was it was pretty cool what's your game right now What's my game right now? I don't. I don't have a game right now. Don't have a game right now. No, you're I got, not a gamer. I got no game. You're not a gamer. <laughs> I have actually have. It's now that I've gotten older. I've I've really have lacked lacked on my video. I don't have. I don't have any of the new equipment. Like I walked into a GameStop the other day and was like, Oh my gosh, what is the Xbox One? Did they go back? <laughs> Get out of here, old man. Did they? They went back, didn't they? <laughs> like. PlayStation went to four, but Xbox went to one. Yeah. And the Wii is still what it is. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they need to get with it. Yeah, yeah. seriously. Uh, we got a couple more minutes here, Mike. I did want to ask you just celebrity moments. Anything? Have you been... You were Coma. You were Colin Hart. You were you were, you were were Jack. Have you had any bizarre celebrity moments where you've been Out at a recognized? Party. Or or if you have radio hosts that try to oh, kiss you at the end? or. Moment. Mm. Yeah, or or if you've even like had any bizarre, yeah, if you've had any bizarre celebrity moments for for yourself, jaded or, or well, you know, if you've had anybody that that you've been uh, starstruck or whatever. Um. Yeah, I have all of that. <laughs> cool. Hey, yeah, cool. It's all right. Yeah, yeah, I like to ask eight yeah. questions in a row and then allow my guests to pick the one they want to answer. Yeah, right. Like that's that's choice. yeah. Um. Let's see. Right off the bat, the, w- a funny moment because you know when someone recognizes you. You know, it for me, it's always been a little embarrassing for me. Not, be, I don't know why. I think it's just because, like, 
you're, it's just like, oh man, like you know, thanks for that. You know, I don't want to be like one of those people too that's like, oh yeah, well of course you know me. So when, <laughs> when people see me and they're like, hey, were you? There? Your sharpie comes out immediately. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, all right, like, let's do this. Like, let's oh, do this. No, you're double parked. Like, oh, sorry about that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, uh, there was this one moment I was actually um, I was getting a pizza. And uh, I uh, literally, I got my pizza, I walked outside, and there was this group of, and this is while I was doing the show, this group of like 12 girls who were apparently having a pizza party. Oh, this sounds horrible. All it did was take one of them and... It this was, can't end well. Yeah, it was like the whole pizza place glass just shattered from the screaming. <laughs> like, I lost my hearing for a couple of days. Had uh, to pay for the glass. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's just... Yeah. That's if I were you, I would have shut my eyes and dropped into a fake coma and laid there until they all went away. I think that's what I would have done. Put the tubes in my nose. I don't want it to end. Kevin. I know. Unfortunately, our Christmas show, Mike, thank you so much for coming in here. Thank you for having me. It's wonderful. I'd love to come back. We'd love to have you back. Thanks so much when for you coming. Can, especially when you can tell us more about the Russell Simmons stuff, or you're doing it, or whatever. Like, yeah, you definitely come back, and, and, yeah. and we'll talk about that. Talk about that and all the other great stuff you got going on. Very talented. Very dreamy. The Mike oh, Irwin good over dude, here. Yeah. Good dude. Good dude. For thanks, thanks for coming in. And, you know, Chris, everybody here, Merry Christmas. Hope everybody has a great holiday. Yeah, Happy really Kwan- hope that for everybody else. Happy Kwanzaa. Jesus, Chris, we're going to have to get some more Christmas cheer in you over there. So it's a rerun next week for SGR, but thank you guys for listening, and we will see you in two weeks. See ya! You're listening to Streaming Goat Radio with Kevin and Chris right here on LA Talk Radio.